everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, and uh, today's show got uh, a wine that I've already had before. It's actually a family favorite. Um, it's called Notro. Uh, it's an Argentinian wine. Uh, it is, this is the Notro 2007 Tinto, Tinto de Montan, Montana or Montaña. Montaña has a little tilde on the end. Uh, and this is a blend of Sangiovese and Bonarda. It's a 50-50 blend. Um, so this has become a family favorite at the house. And uh, <laughs> be right back. receipt this time it was hiding anyway so we got this at world market and this is, you know we've got a lot of wine at world market they got a good selection of just stuff you don't find anywhere else so the notro tinto is $5.99 by the way yesterday's wine was $5.99 um, if you watch it on the website or you watch it on Vidler you know as of this morning you probably saw that I put a little comment in there but if you watch it on the podcast you wouldn't have known so $5.99 is what I paid for the, um, uh, <clears throat> for the wine yesterday, for the nice little uh, Vino Verde. Anyway, so Argentina. Argentina makes really good wines at good values. Uh, this is not its normal, when people think of Argentina, they think of Malbec, and Malbec's the predominantly uh, planted grape there. Uh, but that's only recently. Apparently, according to the research I had, Bonarda was really one of the most widely planted grapes, and it was really a grape that was meant for jug wine. So it's not really a, considered a high quality wine. It was both San Giovese and Bonarda are Italian grapes. So they were brought over to Argentina and which makes sense because a lot of Italians immigrated to Argentina during World War II or after World War II. So, um, so you've got the Italian influence there. And Bonarda isn't grown much or used much in Italy but it's usually paired with Barbera and not San, Gio not San Giovese. So uh, so, but this is the blend here. Uh, we, we like it. We usually drink it with pizza. Uh, it's a good pizza wine. So, um, it's a wine I've already had before. So, I have no problem having those wines because, you know, why not? You can uh, check it out. So, this is uh, also, it's from the Mendoza region of Argentina. I forgot to mention that. And Mendoza produces a ton of wine in Argentina. Okay. And it's one of the highest growing areas in the world for, uh, for wine, as far as elevation. All right. So, let's go and get started. A little pour there. All righty. I got the sniffles today. I was sneezing before I started this. All right. Um, by the way, the wine's been open for about almost three hours, so she had plenty of time to breathe. All right, so I get like dark fruit on the nose. Maybe a dark cherry. I also get something that's kind of chemical or artificial maybe. Maybe not chemical in a bad way, but... Yeah, mostly, mostly just the dark cherries is what I get. All right, let's go and check it out. So, immediately, like the mouth feel, you get a little bit of tannins. It's not really heavy. It's kind of light. Like, all, already they're, they're almost gone, whereas I've had some of the other red wines in the past that, you know, I'm talking for two, three minutes, and I'm still going, you know, the mouth is dry. Um, but it's got a little bit of tannins. It's got a little bit of sweetness. It's tasty. Um, <clears throat> you can kind of taste a little bit of, of, the, uh, of the dark fruit. Mom and Dad just got home. If I can interrupt this. <laughs> it's all right. So, um, 
I know what that smell was. It's kind of like rubber. Um, I can taste it too, almost like tire, like 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 a tire smell and also a tire taste. So not exactly the most pleasant taste to have, but it's there. Um, I still think it's kind of tasty, and, and you know it, it, it's good everyday drinking wine. Um, you know, we, we really enjoy it. So it's become like every time we go to Walmart, it's become the, the, the wine that we tend to we tend to buy. Um, so score-wise, so I would say, again, I'm probably going to give it, say, an 82, 83. We'll go 82. Again, you know, it's a cheap wine. Um, I don't consider it a great wine, but I think it's good for what it is. And uh, if you don't sit there and try to pass it off as some... 15 or $20 bottle of wine, then you're good. If you say, hey, I found this bottle of wine for six bucks, maybe drinks like a $8 bottle of wine, um, it's pretty good. So uh, let's see what else we got going on. Okay, website wise, um, if you guys have been visiting the website or you're watching on the website, you've seen that I've got a bunch of ads on there. Uh, I've also st I've also changed the About Me section a little bit. I kind of, kind of uh, added some more information as to what the plans are for the site. Um, I've started the. I've actually activated the sommelier school page. There's nothing on there. Uh, first lesson I expect to be next week. Um, then I've got uh, the library. I've, oh, I mentioned the library. I think yesterday, but the library's up and running. I've also got a forum uh, with no posts yet, obviously, but a, a forum has started so that people can talk about the site or talk about the wines or whatever. I mean, obviously, there's comments down below. Come on, man, comment up. I'll read them. I don't care. Um, I mean, I don't care what you, what you put on. That's what I mean. <laughs> you know, if you put something, you blast me. That's cool because that gives me something to work on. If you think I did something wrong, or you don't like something, or you want to be a, you know, funny and talk about the spit bucket. Um, let's see what else. Uh, so yeah, I've got I've got more ads on there. So click those. But you got to buy stuff. So I can't just click them. Uh, the books on the, on the Amazon list, the library. Uh, as always, you can donate if you want to help pay for the uh, pay for the wine itself. Uh, you know, I mean, I keep telling you how much these wines are, so I'm not buying expensive wine. So, but do it five days a week. It starts adding up, and um, I think that's really about it tonight. Going to a, a little uh, tweet up at uh, Brasserie Paville, or as I said it originally, Brazier Paville. Uh, so going up there, meeting a bunch of people for foodsandflicks.com. I uh, go ahead and check them out. And then there are also Foos and Flicks on Twitter, a uh, group of pe good people there. So check them out and uh, friend me up on Twitter and Facebook. And um, I guess that's going to be about it. Thanks for coming in. Or thanks for coming in, man. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, I will see all of you guys tomorrow.